Doubleheader week's over, guys. So we can move on and go on to week five. Yeah, week five. We can go on to week five, single games the rest of the way. Let's just see how this doubleheader week fared for us all, shall we? Who got swept? I'd be awesome if Pink Taco got swept. Did he get swept? Because I really haven't even looked at any scores yet. Well, the Cardiac Kids split. I split, which I'll get to that in a minute. Biscuit Butt got swept. Capitalist Pigs got swept. Um, And, oh yes, the Pink Taco got swept. And has been swept. They're 0-5. Woo! I wonder why he's 0-5. I don't know. I'll have to go in my records and look. But let's just first start off with the Pickums. There's four weeks left of the Pickums. And it's a pretty tight race between probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven of us. Okay, I'll say at least three, four, five of us. I'm in first by one point. Cardiac Kids is right behind with by one. The Sasquatch is two behind, and then you got Stay Thirsty and the Donkey, three behind, and then some other guys behind that. But there's four weeks. Anything can happen. I've seen it. I believe it. Um, the, uh, what's it called? What's that called? King of the Road. No, King of the Road. King of the Mountain. <laughs> That's what it's called. King of the Mountain has another new face. This time it is Hawkeyes. 186.2 points. So, who is going to try to change it this coming week? All right. Um, so, for this week, any exciting things? Well, first, let's just, I want to talk about my team. Horrible week. I had a horrible week. I, I admit, my team was very embarrassing. Well, I'm trying to scroll down to find it. There it is. Uh, Matt Ryan, pathetic, 17 points. Um, Chris Thompson, which... I'm glad the Chiefs won, but the Redskins, I don't get why teams do this. Like when we played the Eagles, they decided not to use LeGarrette Blunt the entire game. They had one touch. Chris Thompson has torn it up the last two weeks before that game. Torn it up. Why would you stop using him? They completely ignored him the whole game, basically. He got very few touches, and they used Rob Kelly, which... Yes, Rob Kelly did do all right, but he got hurt. Then they bring in that Perrine guy, which he did okay. It took Perrine to fumble before they finally brought Chris Thompson in. By then, it was just too late anyway. Um, and then, I didn't know this until the next day because it affected me in another league. Chris Thompson was the casualty of the fumble at the very last play of the game that was Turned back for a touchdown. I guess he was the last one to have complete possession of the ball. You know, he's the one that threw it back to whoever. So they gave him the lost fumble. And they gave him the defensive touchdown negative. So I ended up with only one point from Chris Thompson. That sucked balls. Um, and in one of my other leagues, that cost me the game. Because I was only up by 0 .5, 0 0.4 points or 0 .3 points. So that... I, I, I thought I won, and I wake up going, why do I have a loss on my knee? I'm trying to figure it out, and finally, that's what it was. I was so pissed. Um, Kyle Rudolph was non-existent until the very end of the game, and somehow managed to get me five points. Uh, that was it. Julio and Chris Thompson and my quarterback are the ones that basically screwed me, and I only got 88 points. 88 points! And I won one of my games. 88 points. I was really drawn out to get to 88 points. 88 points. And I beat Biscuit Butt, who had 83. 83. And his potential points was only 97. That's pretty bad when Biscuit Butt starting running back is Adrian Peterson. And he had uh, a lackluster game from Sammy Watkins, which is... I guess to be expected now because you don't know when they're going to use them. I got something in my tooth. It's really bothering me. Um, wow. If you would have used Alex Smith, you might have beat me. You would, If you used Alex Smith over Drew Brees, well, really, are you going to use Drew Brees? Or, I mean, Alex Smith over Drew Brees? Come on. No, you're not. 
His team is just decimated. He has Danny Woodhead still on his roster, who's out. David Johnson, who's still on his roster, who's out. Allen Robinson, who's still on his roster and is still out. Your team has just been destroyed by injuries, Arch. So one problem you're having is, I know you're busy, but you can drop those guys because Allen is not playing again this year. David Johnson, probably not going to make it back this year for our season. So I'd get rid of him, just saying. Um, then I played Minivan Madness, who only scored 109 points, and he beat me. So, that's two teams that scored crappy points and has a W. Who's another one? Uh, Cardiac Kids. Big, oh, poor Cardiac Kids. The opposite. The opposite. Teddy had a big game, 160 points. But loses to the donkey. I, I feel you, man. That sucks to get all those points and lose still. When you know you could have played me, Minivan Madness, Pink Taco, Biscuit Butt, and just destroyed us. Which, maybe you played one of us in the doubleheader. Um, Mike got a W. Good job, Mike. Capitalist Pigs had 141, but played Hawkeyes. Got crushed, obviously. Stay thirsty. Uh, he swept, didn't he? Yeah, he played Pink Taco, who got a whole 100 points also. Too bad you didn't play me, Chris. You would have got at least one win. <laughs> Mile High had a bad game. His first bad game, I think, because he's been, seems like he's been averaging 140 to, uh, and up. So he only got 126. What could he have done to make himself better? Well, Ty Montgomery got hurt, so you can't, you can't help that so that's what probably screwed him was Ty Montgomery getting hurt during the game because Golden Tate sucked who would have I thought he would have had a decent game so yeah you can't do much about that it's just a bad game and you played the Devils and the Devils well you beat the Devils so you beat the Devils who only scored 110 you know I'm finding out in all these this week had literally two or three teams that just tore it up and then everyone else really didn't have a great game. It was like, well, I like, you know, there's three or four teams that didn't even hit 100. Some that had 100, 110. Weird week. I think this week will be a lot different. Uh, let's see. The Cardiac Kids did beat the Capitalist Pigs. Cardiac Kids, Capitalist Pigs. <laughs> kind of twister. Um, Stay Thirsty sneaks by Big Red by 1.2 points. Wow. 1.2 points. Let's see if Big Red could have made a simple change. Mike Gillisley is his flex. That's the only change I would have made if so. Let's see his backup players. Because everyone else I would have started. He has. Because I don't think you would have started Eli Manning over Dak Prescott. Not going to happen. A flex player he has. Duke Johnson over Mike Gillisley. I don't know if I would have done that. So... Jordan Mao, Sam Samarji Perrine now. Terrell Pryor has been so bad the last few weeks. Would you have played Terrell Pryor over Mike Gillisley, anyone? I'm not sure because Mike Gillisley has been kind of a bell cow in the red zone. So, Mike, I think you just had bad luck there. I mean, you still scored 147 points, just lost by one. Sucks for you. Uh, obviously, Sasquatch, you did lose to Hawkeyes, obviously. And Pink Taco got crushed by the donkey. But you only scored 100 points. So you would have got crushed by a lot of people. But not me. You would have beat me. <laughs> Just saying. This week, back to regular regular uh, playing. Except, oh, the bye week start. So let's just see. Hawkeyes is playing the Devils. And, well, I think Hawkeyes is going to cream the Devils. Because, well, the Devils won't have Devontae Adams. Probably. Because he's probably not going to play. Uh, Mohamed Sanu's on a bye, so he's stuck with Philip Rivers as his quarterback. So your team's going to bite the big one. Oh, I shouldn't say, uh, I should say Noah. Noah, you're going to bite the big one. That's not Jim's team. That's Noah's team. Noah, I, I like, I'm going to, yeah, I don't take pity on, on kids, especially like middle schoolers or high, young high schoolers. I don't remember if you're eighth grade or ninth grade, but Either way, I don't take pity on you. I'm going to crush you, teach you a lesson. You think I take pity on my kids? No, I want to beat them every time. Not like, be well, okay, yeah, I'll beat them too, but 
you know, in sports, I ain't going to give them the easy way. And you're going to learn the hard way, Noah. This is your fourth, what is this, your second or third year of actually drafting on your own, pretty much? Yeah, I mean, I just hope I don't eat my words when I play you. But right now, I can say that because, you know, you got beat. You know, you're going to get beat. Big Red. Big Red playing the Pink Taco. Will Pink Taco redeem himself? Because Big Red has a huge buy problem this week. No Devontae Freeman and no Michael Thomas. Oh, got a little help there, Pink Taco. The house is giving you a little hedge. I'm going to say that, yeah, well, does he have it? He has Duke Johnson to replace him. And he's got Terrell Pryor to go back in. So if he actually does make that move and puts him back in, don't you have Terrell Pryor? Maybe not. No, I'm thinking of somebody else's team. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, he's on a bye, too, though. Terrell Pryor's on a bye. So, and Jordan Matthews is hurt. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say Pink Taco, if you lose this game, because he's really, unless he makes a move, he only has one receiver and nothing else, like literally one receiver. So, unless he makes a move, I'm going to say you're going to win, but I'd laugh if you choke and he beat you. Capitalist Pigs and the Donkey. Well, according to this, it says that the donkey should win, which I probably will agree with because, well, you got a bunch of scrubs on your team, except your receivers. Your receivers, um, capitalist pigs, are good. But when you got to go against Todd Gurley, Latavius Murray, who's now going to start, I would imagine, and uh, Joe Mixon, who is starting to get more and more involved, and Randall Cobb, who is starting to be Aaron Rodgers' go-to guy when he plays, I think it's all the donkey to win. So I say donkey. Donkey all the way. Biscuit butt. You're going to lose to Minivan Madness. You got Drew Brees on a bye, so you got to play Alex Smith. Which, he could be good, but he's playing against the Texans. This is uh, tough in Houston. It's going to be a little tough. Uh, you got Demarius Thomas on a bye, too. So Easy win for Minivan. I call that my lock of the week. Minivan Madness. Lock of the week. I'm giving you all the help I can, Archie. <laughs> Cardiac Kids. First mile high. That's a good game. That's a good game. See, I'm looking at the scores. They even say it's a good game. They got Cardiac Kids by one point. And that's with Cardiac Kids without a kicker right now. Oh, boy. Cardiac Kids versus Mile High. You know, I'm looking at the rosters, and I'm thinking that Mile High is going to win, though. I, I just, I, I like this. Look at this. Tom Brady for Mile High versus Jameis Winston on Cardiac Kids team. It's a Thursday night showdown. This is going to be so cool. I still think Mile High is going to win. We'll find out probably tonight as Mile High has got Brady, Hogan, and Gronk going. Maddie Ice, me versus the Stay Thirsty, my friends. It's got us literally almost completely tied, like 0. 0.3 points for Stay Thirsty. He's got Case Keenum, but because he has to, <laughs> he'll either have Keenum or Sam Bradford. One of them will be playing. That's what he's got, and it's on Monday night. Keenum will probably have a pretty good game playing the Bears. Um, man, Jay Ajay, who's coming off a bad game. Lamar Miller against the Chiefs, who lets, lets teams get points on stats, at least. I don't, that's fine. Give them stat. Just don't give them touchdowns. Uh, Keenan Allen, Alshon Jeffries, Devontae Parker. That's a good good team for this week. I got Tyrod, because Julio's on a bye. Matt Ryan's on a bye. You know what? I just don't see me winning. I really don't see me winning this game. Congratulations, Mike. I think you're going to beat me. All right. Chiefs, Sunday night football. Okay, isn't this – am I the only one that has noticed this? The Chiefs have not played at – has not repeated a uh, kickoff time yet this year. Five weeks in, Thursday night, Sunday at 12, Sunday at 1.30, which is Pacific time. Uh, then we got – the Monday night football game. And now we got Sunday night football game. We have hit every time zone for kickoffs. That is just so weird. 
And I, I asked one of the players if they like it, and he says, heck no. He hates it. He hates playing at night. They hate. He said they all hate playing at night because it screws everything up. So luckily we're 5-0, and 4-0. Oh, oh. I'm thinking we're going to be 5-0. and oh. But it's just weird. I've never seen that before. I think I've covered everything. It's only been 15 minutes. It's almost a record for me, right? So enjoy your weekend. I will be gone for a week, but I am going to try to do a video. We'll see if I even get there. <laughs> Good luck, but not you, Mike. Or you, Mike. I don't care. Both mics. Bad luck.